About a decade ago, we created the Sustainability Management Program to educate sustainability professionals capable of bringing sustainability management, finance, and operations into every aspect of organizational life. Today, the class of 2020 is graduating into a world where sustainability professionals have never been more needed and where our skills have never been more important. A class born of hope and promise graduates into a catastrophe of massive proportions, but with the ability and deep sense of mission required to meet the challenge. The issues of planetary preservation include combating climate change, ecosystem destruction, loss of biodiversity, and of course, protections from pandemics and other forms of disease. While the world seems virtual today and time seems to be standing still, we know better. And we know that soon we'll be engaging with the great challenges that brought us together here at Columbia University. I'm deeply proud of this class, the class of 2020, and of the community you created here and the larger community of Columbia graduates you now join. Our student body is diverse, coming from many places and fields and working in many types of organizations. We have experienced professionals who have studied along with students who are at the very start of their professional careers, but all work together in group projects throughout our curriculum. We've learned from each other and worked together and always benefited from our differences along with our shared sense of purpose. Today, the entire globe faces the type of pandemic long feared and predicted by public health experts and scientists. COVID-19 has already changed our community, our economy, our society and our culture and politics in many ways. And the longer term challenges that we are likely to face will be profound and long lasting, but it will not change the fundamentals, the fundamental facts of our biosphere, our technology, our economy, or our use of energy and human biology. The managers of our organizations must pay attention to the physical dimensions of sustainability. Added to energy, water, minerals, and waste, we must now pay attention to preventing and dealing with diseases and other kinds of viruses. Employees, customers, and visitors coming to our places of business will now be screened for weapons as, and for disease together. An effective system of public health will be a critical piece of sustainability infrastructure. The physical dimensions of sustainability must now include prevention, detection, and treatment of disease. And with public health included, sustainability management will be sustained indefinitely. You've worked hard to achieve this degree, and I congratulate you for this great achievement. I'm really proud of you. No one ever builds anything without help. So please join me in thanking the family and friends who supported you while you engaged in your studies. And as you graduate and in the years to come, please stay in touch with us and know that you always have a home at Columbia's Sustainability Management Program. I really think that the world that we're facing right now presents challenges, but I'm really quite confident that all of you are up to those challenges. And so along with the faculty, I congratulate you and wish you well as you go out into this new world we are all confronted. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi, I'm Cynthia, and my favorite Zuma memory was from fall of 2019 during the Net Impact Final Briefings. My consulting team helped me as a client for my startup, Saluminous, and they 3D printed a prototype of the solar charging station I was hoping to build. So special thanks to Nicole, Mahul, Sabrina, Maya, and Svetlana. You literally brought me to tears. And thank you so much to my current Saluminous consulting team through Net Impact, Sally, Nikki, Joaquin, Julia, Greg, Amira. Thank you, thank you. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Hi, my name is Marley Eisler, and I'm in my final semester of the Master's in Sustainability Management program. My favorite class I took during my time at Columbia has been Circular Economy for Sustainability Professionals, taught by Professor Stephanie Kirsten Johnston. 
I was initially skeptical that this concept could be a viable business strategy. However, through course papers and lectures, I began to understand how the production of single use and immediately disposable products is just not practical from an economic as well as environmental perspective. The professor's insight into the topic compelled me to think critically about corporate supply chain functions and individual consumerism practices. Hello friends. I am so proud of this year's SUMASA board, as well as all of the SUMA-led clubs and initiatives that worked hard to serve our community this year. The goal of the Student Association is to advocate on behalf of the student body, create professional development opportunities, and build and strengthen community within SUMA. Everyone who joined the board this year had a special passion to serve this community and was fully committed to providing the best possible opportunities for our fellow students. It's been a very busy year, filled with faculty dinners, course speed dating nights, happy hours, sustainability workshops, SUMA talks, and of course the sustainability symposium, which happened to occur on the last possible day events were allowed to take place at Columbia. I can't tell you how lucky we feel to have been able to host the symposium this year. It was, in fact, one of the last times I was able to see many of you. Mia Ciroli and Laura Rocca, along with the rest of the board, started planning the symposium as far back as last summer. We are extremely proud of the speakers who were able to attend, representing companies and groups such as JetBlue, UN Global Compact, JP Morgan, Estee Lauder, TerraCycle, and many more. The event drew students around Columbia and New York City. We hope we were able to provide students with valuable insights on the newest corporate sustainability efforts, as well as show the greater Columbia community that the study of sustainability is only continuing to grow. As the president of SUMASA, I've had the opportunity to work directly with our many dedicated student leaders who strive every day to improve our world in measured, tangible ways. We come from all industries with an openness to learning from our professors and one another with the higher mission of enabling all sectors to make their contribution to fighting climate change. From day one, I knew our first priority would be to try to connect as many students as possible to one another. By far the best part of this job was having an excuse to reach out and get to know so many of you. I am constantly impressed by the experiences and background of every SUMA student that I meet. Our first SUMA Talks event was a wonderful way to learn about the incredible expertise so many of you have brought to the program. We are entering the workforce with the biggest, most awesome responsibility imaginable to find a way to save our home planet and ourselves. As the next generation of leaders, employees, and citizens, we are the front lines in making sure these recent commitments by companies are working to better our earth and societies to sustain true and lasting outcomes. I am so proud and inspired by this incredible group of people. The thing that brings me the most hope is knowing that all of you are about to enter the workforce to start long, meaningful careers dedicated to bettering the planet. I will leave here today more motivated than ever to do this work, entirely due to the brilliant people I've met here at Columbia. Thank you for your exceptional hard work and support. Today, I leave you with a quote from the esteemed ecologist E.O. Wilson. You are capable of more than you know. Choose a goal that seems right for you and strive to be the best, however hard the path. Aim high, behave honorably, prepare to be alone at times and to endure failure. Persist, the world needs all that you can give. Thank you and congratulations to the rest of the board on a spectacular year and a warm welcome to next year's board. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2020.